now that we can sketch a root locus plot, let's look at designing a feedback gain compensator for a specific response. And as example, suppose I've got the following cubic system. I want to find the gain k that results in 16% overshoot for the step response. Or in other words, find k so that the damping ratio is 0.5. Now, first step is to sketch the root locus plot. I can use MATLAB using the function RL tool or R locus. Here I input the system G, hit an RL tool, and you wind up with this. There's your root locus plot. If I go under analysis, I can look at the response to step input. Not quite as big. What that shows is the step response in blue based upon where you want the root locus plot. For example, suppose I put the place to pull right there at the pink spot at, say, minus 0.5. That's a real pull, so the step response should behave like a first order system, and that's what you get. The settling time is about eight seconds, four over 0.5. The gain that puts you there is 0.206. If I were to pull that point to the left, I get a quicker response. Again, the dominant pull is real, so there's no overshoot. As I start to get complex pulls, try again, here we go. I start to get overshoot. As I move along the root locus plot, k gets bigger. I get more overshoot as seen by the blue line. Eventually, I become marginally stable and eventually unstable. The goal in root locus plots is find the point that gives me 16% overshoot. Now I know what that point's going to be from the second order damping curves. I know the damping ratio should be 0.5. I want to find out which point in the root locus plot intersects with that damping line where zeta is 0.5. Find that spot right there. So the problem is on that root locus plot, find the point that intersects the damping ratio 0.5 line, your damping ratio. That has a numerical solution. Again, what you're dealing with are a bunch of arctangent functions which have no closed form solution. So you're stuck using numerical approach. Essentially, at any point on the root locus satisfies the angle condition. Any point on the root locus, the angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to do a search for zeta of 0.5. That's right here. It tells me the angle at which I'm searching. I'm searching along all points with an angle of 120 degrees. Find the point where the angles add up to 180. Or back with the root locus. Here it was. Search along this line right here until the angle's up to 180. That's the point on the root locus plot. I can do that using trial and error. Uh, first guess the amplitude is at 1. Angles don't add up to 180. My guess wasn't right. Try 2, try 3, keep on going until you add up to 180. Turns out the point on the root locus plot that has a damping ratio of 0.5 is at 3.33 at 120 degrees. Once you find the spot on the root locus that meets your design specs, pick k so that the gain is 1. At any point on the root locus plot, g times k is minus 1. I know what s is. s is 3.33 at 120 degrees. Find k so that g times k is minus 1. If I plug it in, I'll get g of s is 0.771 at 180 degrees. The 180 just tells you you're on the root locus. Your numerical solution came out correct. K then is whatever it takes to make the gain 1 or 1.29. If I do that then, pick K to be 1.29, right about there, I should have 16% overshoot. And that's what you see on the left. That essentially is gain compensation on a root locus plot. I've got one degree of freedom, the root locus plot. Find the point, it gives you the right overshoot. I like high gains. I like the gain to be up here. High gains give you better tracking, quicker system, but high gains typically make you have too much overshoot. If I go too far, I eventually go unstable. So the biggest gain I can find without violating my design specs, 60% overshoot, happens to be right here. The point of the root locus 
where I have a damping ratio of 